Good morning, friends. Welcome back to our Urban Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea. On this channel, I do lots of gardening, season permitting. I do live in Southwest Michigan. Uh, lots of canning, dehydrating, fermenting, um, lots of pantry meals from the things that I grow and preserve throughout the year, lots of other recipes, um, and just a good time in general. So if you're interested in that kind of content, please consider subscribing. I would really love to have you here. Everyone else that's been here for so long, thank you so much for all of your support and welcome back. So this is gonna be a requested recipe video and it's not gonna be a very long video, maybe like three minutes or so. And this is gonna be on my Lipton French onion soup or Lipton onion soup mix. It's super, super simple guys, comes together in like five minutes. I use this on all kinds of stuff. I put it in my meatloaf, my meatballs, my chili, um, I make, you know, a dip for veggies or crackers. The possibilities are really endless. Like I said, very simple, comes together in no time. You probably already have this stuff in your pantry or in your spice cabinet. And at the end of the video, I will hold up my recipe for you to take a screenshot of it if you would like. I will be doubling this recipe. The recipe on the card is for a single batch. So let's get into it. All right, I'm going to start with using my little mortal and pestle because I need to crush up some celery seed. Um, again, I'm pretty sure that all of you have celery seed in your pantry. And I know you might be thinking, like, what the heck, celery seed? Trust me when I tell you. I've tried several different ways to make this soup mix. And when I tell you the crushed celery seed is a definite key component, it 100% is. So I've just crushed that up a little bit. And to the bowl it goes. got some dried uh, beef bouillon powder here. Uh, these are my dehydrated onions. If you don't dehydrate, you can certainly, you know, buy dehydrated onions from the store. some onion powder. A little bit of black pepper and some sugar. Just a pinch, not a lot. And then you just want to make sure that you mix everything together nicely. I'm going to add a bit more onion powder. Most of the time I don't use a recipe card, uh, but for the sake of... You being able to screenshot it at the end of the video, I pulled it out. That's kind of like how I do a lot of cooking. Anyone that's been here a while knows I don't really use a... I'll try it by the written recipe like one time, but I like to cook by taste and by sight. <laughs> All right, I've got a quart jar here. I'm gonna grab funnel. Oops, make a mess. I do that quite often as well. 
Oh, for crying out loud, you guys. Hot Mess Express. Oh, well, what are you going to do? All right, I guess I will make another batch to fill this up. But I'll do that off camera. There you have it, guys. Like, how easy and quick was that to throw together? Um, definitely a staple in our household. I make a lot of my own spice mix, seasoning mixes and blends and all of that. So if there's one that you would like to see me do, make sure you drop a comment and let me know so I can get that video out for you. I also had someone request uh, my copycat Lowry's um, or a seasoned salt blend. So I will have that video out as well. I'm actually doing it after this video. So, oh yeah, here, let's hold up the recipe card. I hope you got a screenshot of that so you can keep that into your files and recipes. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here, guys. I truly cannot express my gratitude to each and every single one of you. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Drop me a comment below. And until next time, abundance and blessings to you. Bye, friends.